What is up, people? Welcome to the next Weekly Ramble video. Today we've got a few things that I want to mention, so we're going to go through these fairly quickly. The first, you may notice, Cardsphere swag. If you are interested in picking up a t-shirt or a hat or something along those lines, or if you're just interested in magic cards and you want to go buy, sell magic cards, do all of that at Cardsphere. Genuinely, it's going to be the best place to get buy list pricing for both buying and selling. Uh, you can get swag, obviously, like the t-shirts and the hats. It's amazing. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Their link is in the description. So if you're interested, go check them out. They are awesome. They're also just super nice people. So uh, genuinely go check them out. They're not, they sponsor our podcast. They're not technically asking me to do this. Uh, I just happened to find their store and I was really interested in getting a shirt uh, and it came in today. So thought I'd give them a little plug. Uh, but another thing I want to mention about uh, yesterday, there was no podcast episode. I do apologize for that. It's kind of a funny story. Uh, I had a dentist appointment and I just had to get like, I had, I had to get a couple fillings put in, not a huge deal, but one was at the very back of my mouth and they had to give me two shots of the numbing stuff. And the first, like, again, they did both at the same time. One was on the opposite side and that one wore off in like an hour or two. It wasn't a big deal. The other one they gave me two shots of and it, it lasted for like five or six hours. Uh, and so I literally just couldn't talk yesterday when we were supposed to record. Uh, so I apologize, excuse me, the day before yesterday when we were supposed to record. Uh, and so I literally just couldn't talk. Uh, by the time it wore off, it was like 11.30, and I was like, I gotta go to work tomorrow. So I do apologize, there was no episode, uh, but we aren't like behind schedule or anything. It was literally just kind of a fluke. So again, apologies there. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't too mad at us. Uh, but it was, yeah, because of my numb mouth. It's a weird statement. Anyway, moving on, uh, deck techs. So deck techs are something that I've already mentioned uh, that we're gonna be doing a little bit more of. You'll notice uh, the week, I believe, that Guilds of Ravnica came out, uh, we did two deck techs. One was Is It Spells, and the other was Golgari Midrange, or excuse me, Sultai Midrange, uh, both of which did really well. You guys seem to really be receptive to that kind of content. Uh, it's not something we normally do, but it seems like standard deck techs really seem to be to nobody's surprise, I guess, uh, where people find the most enjoyment out of the content uh, and hopefully learn something about the deck. So uh, the plan is I've got one scripted uh, for the most part. I do have to finish that up today, uh, but my plan is to actually sit down, record that, get that all knocked out today and hopefully have that up to you either the same day that this video goes up or Friday or at latest Saturday. Uh, I don't think it will take that long. Uh, I try and streamline that process as much as possible, so hopefully it'll be out fairly early that you guys can check it out. Uh, the deck is, a, it's a little bit of a teaser or a spoiler, but Golgari Aggro, uh, the deck is like kind of insane. Uh, it won, uh, it was a st MTGO standard PTQ, uh, and it won it, but it was also six of the top eight places uh, in, in that PTQ, which is kind of insane. Uh, it really, really took over, so I thought that would be a great deck tech to actually do and hopefully get that info out there for you guys. Really, really sweet deck, so please be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'm stoked to actually get that one recorded. It's one of my favorite decks that we have seen recently, actually, uh, and it makes me want to play standard a little bit. Uh, anyway, so that's all to do with the content and stuff like that. Uh, there's also ideas for cube content and everything, which kind of segues into the big kind of topic for this little ramble, which is that finally, for the first time in a long time, Will and I have gotten to really sit down, play test, and even just for fun play Magic uh, again, which, surprise, surprise, when you have full-time jobs and you produce Magic content, you don't get that much of an opportunity to actually play Magic. Uh, just doesn't really work out that way. So uh, it had been a while, honestly, since we had sat down and actually just got to play. Uh, I am living, of course, with Tyler uh, from Bursts of Knowledge, and he actually joined us for a cube game. Uh, it was amazingly fun. I got to cast Armageddon, uh, which is a card that I very rarely get to cast, uh, but it was a lot of fun. We actually got to sit down and play uh, not only standard stuff, we were uh, playtesting some decks. We're still working with our own brews on a few things that we do want to bring up in deck tech videos, things like that. Uh, so hopefully you'll see those fairly soon. Uh, but we've also sat down with a couple of the dual decks which are back on the shelf there. Uh, the seventh edition starter decks we actually cracked open and they were really fun, uh, surprisingly fun, in fact. Uh, seventh edition is the set I'm most excited about just because 
that was the set I got into Magic on, and so to be able to open up and play with those cards again was actually just amazing. Uh, the decks are not good, they're just fun. Let's just go ahead and clarify. Uh, but it was a good time, uh, and then finally, as I mentioned before, the cube is back together. We got to sit down. Uh, we've Will and I have Winston drafted uh, twice with it so far. Uh, the first time we did like the normal Winston draft, where you each get three packs, shuffle them all together, and then draft it out. Uh, the second time, which was actually just last night while my mouth was super numb, uh, <laughs> we uh, we sat down and drafted Winston drafted the entire cube. <laughs> Uh, which was insane, but we actually had some really, really good games. Uh, I ended up with kind of a combo heavy deck where I was kind of just trying to tinker and do like stupid broken stuff. I also had Sneak Attack, uh, which is just a stupidly broken card if you don't already know. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a really fun deck. I had Emrakul, uh, Sundering Titan, Worm Coil Engine, uh, all the goodies. Uh, really, really good stuff. Blight Steel Colossus. So. Uh, really fun. Uh, he was playing a reanimator, green black reanimator deck. It was also extraordinarily sweet. Uh, I believe he, I don't know if we tied or if he won it. Uh, it was one of the two. I definitely didn't win, uh, but we had a really, really good time playing. Uh, it was a bit as cube tends to be with things like sneak attack and stuff like that. If you can sneak attack and then activate in the same turn, it's like kind of stupid. Like there, there was a game where I was for sure going to lose. I only had Emrakul in hand. Uh, he tapped out and attacked me, so he had no untapped you know, board presence, no nothing. And I was like, well, I drew Sneak Attack, uh, so Sneak Attack Emrakul win? And it was just like, you kind of tell when you when you win that way, it kind of sucks, because it's like, yeah, it's cool, I got to win, that's fine, but like, it's also because of like one random card. It's like 100% luck. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a good time, played a number of rounds. Uh, I think we played four or five rounds. Again, I don't remember who won, but uh, I think it was Will. So it was a good time. Uh, we also got to sit down, like I said, with Tyler and Cube Draft, uh, where we actually sat down and did the pick a card out of the pack, pass the pack, that whole thing, the normal style of drafting. Uh, and I ended up in a green-white deck, which I had never played in Cube before. Uh, and it was actually really sweet. Again, casting Armageddon. I didn't win. Ty or, uh, Will, I think. We only played two games. Will won both of them. Uh, the first time, I definitely set him up to win uh, by Ar playing Armageddon. Uh, the second time, it was very, very close between Will and I, uh, but he was able to pull it out a turn earlier. Um, Tyler played very, very strongly. He, he had a lot of fun, it looks like. He played like a Grixis deck. Uh, stand semi controly. I mean, that was the idea. A lot of removal, things like that. Uh, and he played it well. I think that control decks tend not to be the best in cube, though. Uh, and so that's kind of why I feel like it didn't pan out quite as well for him. Uh, and I explained it to him after that, like, you know, some some decks just don't run creatures. And if you're running a bunch of creature removal or uh, sweepers or something like that, you could just have dead cards in your deck, like a lot. Uh, and so I shy away a little bit from control unless I just happen to be in control at the end of the day But uh, either way we all had a really really good time. Uh, we did not film any of it uh, And you guys might be a little unhappy about that because I know you guys have been wanting to see some cube content uh, That since we kind of talked about it a few weeks ago uh, But there are there are ideas coming for that uh, and we'll bring those to you obviously as soon as we can we have ideas for podcast episodes just dedicated to cube drafting, how to build a cube, uh, videos like that. Um, I have a video, a one-off video of how to build a cube that I want to script out and maybe uh, put together. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we've got a lot of ideas, so just, just be patient. Uh, we will, of course, have these videos out to you as soon as we can. Uh, but it is the busy time of year. I've got a conference coming up next week. Uh, I'm leaving next weekend. Uh, I believe Friday or Saturday. Uh, so just a heads up, content might be affected. This is kind of my busy season for my actual job. Uh, and so I will be out of town. It may be that we don't get as many videos up that week. Uh, but that's my last one until like February of next year. Uh, and so we should be on track with everything. Uh, we're going to do the best we can to keep ahead of stuff and videos and all that jazz. But uh, again, we just want to give you guys as much heads up as possible. I know it's been a little bit touch and go with some of our videos. Uh, just because of scheduling issues, things like that. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, again, before I wrap up this video, if you're interested in Card Sphere, 
go check them out. Seriously, it is a fantastic service. Uh, I use them pretty regularly. I had stopped using them a little bit because I keep spending money on Cracker Packs, uh, and that takes up a lot of my budget for Magic every month. But uh, I did just, in fact, uh, today, I believe, uh, add some cards to my want list, and I'm going to throw some money in there and see what I get. Uh, you guys should definitely do the same thing. It is sweet. Uh, think a million times better than Puka Trade, and that's what you have. Uh, that is Card Sphere. Definitely pick up a shirt or a hat as well. They're actually really cool. I dig them. It's a good quality shirt. I will say that. Uh, I really, really dig it. So, if you guys are interested, go check them out. Links are in the description. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap up this weird ramble. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, stay tuned for all the content coming up. We do apologize for the lack of a podcast episode this week, uh, but we should be back on schedule next week and hopefully the week after, even though I will be out of town. So heads up there, but I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next weekly ramble video.